All right, welcome to HTV News. I'm Martin Falls, and we're going to have some uh, breaking news, but not before we talk about the sad passing of the bishop of the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau. That's Bishop Mario Dorsonville. Joining me now is Lonnie Thibodeau as we take a look at the bishop who was recently uh, installed as bishop here in our area. And, of course, uh, Lonnie is in the communications department, does a great job of running all that. Good to see you again, Lonnie. Well, thank you, Martin. And, and you know, it's one of those things where you certainly wish it was better circumstances that we're, yeah. we're talking right now. What a shock. I mean, oh, what, I know. What a, you know, it's one of these things where you leave the office on Friday afternoon. His office is right by mine. And, you know, you leave the office on Friday, ne- mm-hmm. never believing that less than three hours later, he's gone. I don't know, know, it was a, a couple of weeks ago. We mm-hmm. had him on Sports on the Bayou, mm-hmm. but also visited with you and him at the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau, and he was mm-hmm. just got full of laughs and smiles. And mm-hmm. he was such a trooper to come to the Sports on the Bayou. Mm-hmm. And I remember joking with Bobby Abair, I said, better keep this one real <laughs> clean. So, But, no, he was just a jovial kind of guy. I love life. But uh, when I talked to you, was it Friday night or Saturday? Friday night. I'm losing we, track yeah, of time. Yeah, you and I talked Friday night right after it happened. Yeah, yeah and it was uh, uh, just a, a shock to the community. Uh, I know in the next segment we're mm-hmm. going to have some breaking news because mm-hmm. you have to pick an administrator, and I know right. you're going to mm-hmm. help me break that news. But let's talk about uh, Bishop Dorsonville. A lot of people in shock mm-hmm. in the Diocese of Homer Thibodeau family. Mm-hmm. What can you tell us at this point? Well, you know, you know, there's a lot of obvious questions that people ask right now. And, of course, one of the most obvious is, what had he been sick? The answer is yes. I mean, he had been sick. There is a liver issue, and that, that's mm-hmm. in the press release, and, and we acknowledge that. And um, he had been sick for a few months, but it, it didn't really change his schedule. Mm-hmm. I mean, to give you an example, t- he dies on Friday night. On Tuesday night, on Tuesday night, as you see me hugging him, <laughs> this is before the installation. By the way, 10 months. People all saw it. That's another question. How long was he bishop? 10 months from that video you're seeing right there. Yeah. But but he, on Tuesday night, confirmed at St. Joseph Co-Cathedral in Thibodeau. See the pictures on Facebook. Tuesday night. And, and, and tragically, he dies on Friday night. So he never really changed his schedule. But had he had an out-of-town surgery, right? Right. It, it was. A, I wouldn't call it a surgery. It's more, it was a procedure that was done on Wednesday, and some complications developed, I think, later on Thursday and during the day on Friday. And he wow. tragically died at 6.50 on, on Friday night. But, um, but you're right. He was a breath of fresh air, jovial, funny, great sense of humor, mm-hmm. just love the people here. That that was awesome. And I, and I told him from the day I met him, I said, you're just going to love your congregation. Mm-hmm. These people, South Louisiana, you got to remember he was half French. Mm-hmm. His dad was French. His mom was Colombian, uh, grew up in Bogota, Colombia, but he had that French background. And um, so he kind of connected, you know, he co- he connected with everybody here. See, I was at Rouse's when yeah. I was... Uh, he was real funny then because I told him if he clucked like a chicken, oh, I remember I'd that. give him half of the $500. He uh-huh. said, no, if I cluck like a chicken, you're giving me the whole thing. Yep. Oh, look, he was funny. He was really funny. And, you know, here's the thing. You know, as we, you know, as you mentioned in the next segment, uh, the, the next step is obviously we're without a bishop. It's called right. sede vacante, which mm-hmm. means the seat is vacant. The bishop's seat is vacant. So what happens is we have to select a diocesan administrator like Father P.J. Madden was mm-hmm. for a year. Mm-hmm. People remember that. Well, I, I can tell you a little bit earlier this afternoon, one was selected. And coming up after the break, we're going to have a video right. where the, 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 the priest who was selected will address for the right. first time everybody. And in there, in the video, he will also give... A, a, funeral arrangements. Mm-hmm. The one thing I'll just tell you real quick is it will be Thursday, February 1st, 2 p.m., St. Joseph Co-Cathedral right. in Thibodeau. Right. There's more details of that, including yeah. him lying in, in in state, prayer services and all that. And he will talk about that in the video after the break. And before we get to the mm-hmm. next segment where mm-hmm. we'll meet mm-hmm. the new administrator, how is Father Patrick Riviere doing? Because they were mm-hmm. close and he... He worked his schedule every day. He did. Father Patrick, of course, has been the bishop's secretary the last several months. It was, um, and, and I can, you know, I can tell you, was was with him mm-hmm. uh, that 
in all the hours leading up to uh, leading up to his death, and Father Patrick is taking it about as you would expect yeah. for someone who works that close with someone. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's been difficult. I got to tell you, this morning at the at the diocese at the pastoral center, we began with a meeting, and then then a mass together, and it was a lot of tears from everyone. It was a mm-hmm. very difficult morning, and Father Patrick especially was just unbelievable as he recounted the story and, and, and everything that happened and just, went, you know how it is, Mark, when you've mm-hmm. been so close to somebody mm-hmm. and then they're just gone. Well, you and, know. The, and the diocese was just getting, as we continue to look mm-hmm. at all the Re- people that came for the installation. The two cardinals who oh, were here wow. for his installation yeah. with but him. As a community grew closer to him uh, and grew very fast, we were relieved because it took so long to get a bishop, then we get one, and he's taken away from us. So, so now we've got to go through the process. Tra- tragic, you know, and that picture right there just really sticks with me. Father PJ along with Bishop at his installation. And you're right, it took 12 months to get a bishop, and Father PJ was the administrator during that whole time, and then tragically he dies after mm-hmm. 10 months. Let's in do office. this. We, sure. We're going to go to the break when mm-hmm. we come back. Uh, We'll talk a little bit about uh, the new administrator who's going to address his flock, so to, so to speak, uh, and give us some details. And most people will know who it is, but I'm not letting the cat out the bag. Mm-hmm. We'll do that after the break. We'll come right back here on HTV, and uh, me and Lonnie will go to a video recently taped, and you'll get to find out who's the new administrator. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Parabon General Health System, Modern Technology, and Timeless Caring. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. South Louisiana Bank, it's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, Attorneys at Law. Terrebonne Ford. Built Ford Tough. Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. All right, welcome back. Once again, I'm joined by Lonnie Thibodeau with the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau. Uh, in the first segment, we were discussing the sad death of the bishop of the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau, Bishop Mario Darsonville. Now we're going to turn our attention in short order. We're going to hear from the new administrator of the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau. And we all know that mm-hmm. waiting for Bishop Mario Father P.J. Madden did such a great job, Mm -hmm. long job. For a year. Yeah, getting the (laughs) diocese ready and Mm -hmm. making sure it was all intact Mm -hmm. and in short order. We're going to hear from the right. new administrator. Right, and, and the, w- the way it works, Martin, is from the moment, literally the moment that you lose a bishop, whether it's the tragic death of Bishop Dorsonville two years ago, um, Bishop Fob becomes Archbishop Fob in Louisville. You have eight days from that moment, if you will, to select someone as a diocesan administrator. That has to be chosen by what's known as the College of Consultors, mm-hmm. which are seven priests in our diocese. So they met earlier today, late this morning and into the afternoon, to do two things. One of which, in fact, both both of those things will be accomplished in the video. You're going to see in a minute. One is selecting the administrator, who you will see in a couple of minutes. Number two is the funeral arrangements, Mm -hmm. um, which are rather involved, and it kind of goes over a course of two days um, that are, it's about a week and a half from now. Um, So um, that's coming up, and we'll see that in the video. So again, the College of Consultants did, I think, a a great job of of, Mm -hmm. of selecting someone, and uh, we're going to meet him in um, in just over a minute. The College of Consultants, Mm -hmm. as we Mm -hmm. wait about a minute before Mm -hmm. we go to that, Mm -hmm. Are they public, or is it sort of like a very private group? Um, in the past, it's been public. It, it's a little bit of a newer group since Bishop Dorsonville came in. Mm-hmm. He 
change it up a little bit, but but it's seven priests that you know well mm -hmm. uh, here in the diocese. I'm, I'm almost reluctant to fully answer that question. Yeah. I'm not sure if it, if it's an actual public list that if you, yeah. I don't think it's on our website or anything right now. Yeah. Um, but but again, they did they did I think a a a, a great job of and selecting a quick someone. Job. A, a quick job. Remember mm -hmm. because they have eight days, right. and there are some cases in some dioceses where it takes that group eight days to pick somebody they can't you, by the way the person selected has to be selected by or elected by a two-thirds vote and right. that has been a problem in some other dioceses but i do not get the impression that was the case today right. alana we appreciate sure. it. let me let sure. the audience know that uh, in roughly 20 seconds you're going to meet the new administrator mm -hmm. for the diocese of homo thibodeau and this will be the shepherd that takes us through the process until a new bishop mm -hmm. is assigned to the diocese of Homo Thibodeau. So without further ado, let's meet the new shepherd of the Diocese of Homo Thibodeau for now. My dear brothers and sisters, the family of the Diocese of Homo Thibodeau, I come to you today with a humble and heavy heart. I have just been elected by the College of Consultors to serve you as the Diocesan Administrator. I pray that the Lord will grant me the grace to serve each one of you well, even as we grieve together the loss of our beloved father and shepherd, Bishop Mario Dawsonville. While a time will come for more thorough introductions, my focus, as well as the focus of the entire Dyson staff, remains on honoring Bishop Dawsonville in the coming days. My dear brothers and sisters, as we grieve the loss of our Father, may we be reminded that we grieve because we love. Let us remember to pray for Bishop Dawsonville that he may receive his eternal reward in the company of our Heavenly Father and the communion of saints. My dear brothers and sisters, he loved you greatly and considered himself blessed to be a part of this diocesan family. Homo Thibodeau quickly became home to him. May we hold each other in prayer, turning to our God who is faithful even amid such great suffering. Please know of my ongoing prayers for each of you. I would like to take this opportunity to inform you that funeral arrangements have been made as follows. On Wednesday, the 31st of January, 2024, at the Cathedral of St. Francis de Sales in Homer, Louisiana, there'll be a wake service from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m followed by evening prayer at 5.30 p.m. Memorial Mass for the dead will take place at 7 p.m. On Thursday, the 1st of February, at St. Joseph Co Cathedral in Thibodeau, Louisiana, there'll be a wake service from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. At 2 p.m., there'll be a funeral mass. Bishop Dawsonville will be buried on the grounds of St. Joseph Co Cathedral in Thibodeau. Each of you is invited to celebrate with us the life of this good shepherd. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.